Hi everybody, today I'm going to share with you some cleaning homemaking inspiration. I, over the past week, have been doing some biannual cleaning, probably more like nesting, uh, being about 24 weeks pregnant. And so I wanted to share with you some areas of your home, if you're a homemaker, that you should probably be cleaning or get to hopefully here this winter or spring. And it's kind of just a nice winter refresh for your home, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're inside a lot more just to get this done before spring comes and you want to be outside a lot. So the first area that I did a refresh of was painting a couple doors that have been on my list to paint for over a year. This is my daughter's door and then the back side of my husband and my bedroom door. And I just had a gallon can of paint from our local hardware store that I still had on hand. It was white, it matched our trim and it matched our bedroom. And so I went ahead and used that and did that. Our doors were disgusting on certain parts. I wiped them down, still didn't get half that grime off. Um, they had never been painted since we moved in four and a half years ago. So it was definitely time to do that. Now, not saying like this has to be done biannually, but like paint touch-ups and things like that might need to happen if you get nicks and um, things that scratches that don't come off of walls or trim, places like that. So with our daughter's door, I could not get that chalkboard off of her door because it just started peeling paint off. So I just taped around it, taped around the door handles. Yes, I could have taken them off, so probably did the lazy way out, but... It just looks so much better, so much more fresh. It doesn't have grime on it from whoever previously owned it because it used to be a daycare our house did years ago too. So I'm sure there were things on there from way back then. And then just having our bedroom door painted the same color on the front and the back, I just never got to it for some reason when I repainted our bedroom. So that was really nice to do. And so then um, the second area I refreshed to redid, and I should probably do this more than biannually, was under my kitchen sink. I don't keep a whole lot under there. I have our trash can and um, our daughter does a good job of most of the time staying out of it. She throws things away for herself and for us really well. And then I keep some vinegar, some uh, compost bucket, and then just like my scratch pads and some dish detergent or dishwasher detergent too. So just really simple, not a whole lot, but of course it always needs a good wiping out, especially the trash can under there. So I cleaned out the whole bottom, um, scrubbed the cupboard doors on the inside, and that's what I did a refresh on with the paint. It just looks so much better. I kept that white paint out. It didn't match the front of our cabinet, but you know what? It looks so much better to not have food stain all over it and grimy fingerprints stuff like that so i just did that that took literally 10 minutes to do okay so the third area then to clean and refresh is your curtains i washed my curtains took them off the curtain rod wiped the curtain rod down and washed them and then did like a tumble dry on low if you can't wash them I would definitely recommend at least vacuuming them off. It's crazy how much dust gets on curtains, especially if you're like me in the spring and fall and summer, you have your windows open a lot. And even the winter, like I open my windows in the winter to let fresh air in and dust just settles and sits and it's just nice to clean that out. So I took them all down. I have curtains on our closets as well, um, just since we have small bedrooms and small closets to make that space bigger. So I washed those curtains too, and then uh, just did that all in one little project today too, and rehung them, and it was so nice, so fresh to have that clean, and knowing that there's not a lot of dust built up on there anymore. Okay, the fourth area, I have five here for you wipe down the light fixtures and the light bulbs. So our light fixtures, we have different variety of them in our house, but there's dust again that settles in there and the lights get dusty. So I used a dry cloth on the white on the lights and then I used just a natural spray solution and a microfiber cloth on our light fixtures, like the ones that are bowl shaped. Um, 
I'm sure you can take them down if you want to. I did not. I probably should have. But just to get all that dirt, vacuum, vacuuming them out too. If you have bugs in there, it would be a good idea so you don't see those shining through on the bottom. But that is definitely one area that when I look up, I like to see clean. So I would highly recommend getting those clean and our ceiling fan. We have one ceiling fan in our house and it's the bedroom. And that, as you can see, was disgusting. We leave it run most of the time. So this, this probably gets cleaned three times a year. It just gets really gross, grimy, dusty, and it needs a good wiping down. Okay, the last and final area is my walls. So I took a cloth and dusted my walls, which literally walked around the whole house dusting my walls from top to bottom and made sure some of that was off. It's crazy what you find when like I open my door in my bedroom and I'm like, oh, there's a cobweb on the wall right there. You don't see it until you're really looking, um, but that's just an area that I like to know is clean. And then in the bathroom, I did use a damp cloth to get our walls a little more clean as moisture happens in our bathroom and that bathroom is hopefully gonna get redone within this year as well. So it's just nice though to have clean walls and know that that dust is not, again, it's a lot of dust right now building up in your house. And I like getting this done during my second trimester of being pregnant when I have more energy too. So I'm definitely trying to get more of my bigger projects done now. And I just think that's part of being a homemaker is getting your projects done when you have the time and when you have the energy. And like I said, this was all week. I didn't do this all in one day. There was no way I could. So do it when you can. Find the time to get some of these bigger projects. You know, some of them took less time, but bigger projects done when you have the availability. And recruit help if you need to. If your husband needs to vacuum out the lights for you, ask him. If your kids need to wipe down the walls, they probably wouldn't mind taking a rag and wiping down the walls. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be talking with you in my next video on Friday. All right, bye.